episode 86. I am your host, Dion Manassian, here with Kennedy. Hello, friends. Adam. Hi. And Dan. Yo. I'm still baiting you out of your <laughs> yeah. place last show. Yeah, <laughs> it's wasn't. been a while. Um, it has. How's it going? What what games have you guys been what game have you guys been grooving on this We've week? We've all been playing Mario. Odyssey. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like literally, like <laughs> yeah. all three like, of us. I think that's it, right? Like I don't think I've played anything <laughs> else. I mean, I've been playing a lot of Atelier or Sophie lately, but Mario Odyssey has kind of put everything else to the side. Yeah, so, yeah. But yeah. when I get but when once once I beat Mario Odyssey and Dot Hack after that comes out, I, I'll be jumping right back into it. Um, I've pretty much exclusively been playing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Oh yeah, I did play a little. I did well, like not nearly as much as you, but I've been playing some of that. Yeah. Um, for reference, I this morning um, hit villager level twenty nine. I think I'm like twelve. Now remind me when this game comes out in America again. <laughs> Next month. At the end of November, they said. Uh yeah. What Nintendo did, as many games, mo- many mobile <laughs> games do, is they did a soft launch in Australia because it's the most similar to their target uh, demographic um, and market. Um, some kind soul leaked the APK uh, from the Google Play Store um, to the entire internet. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> um, Not all heroes. And I hates. downloaded it. I literally downloaded it the morning after the direct. So. We know how the well the statistics are going to be fucked. First of all, I've already spent ten dollars in the game. So fucked. Um, yeah. It's good. It's really good. Would you say it's the best uh, mobile game Nintendo has come yeah. out with to date? Yes. I like, mean, I, I'll, I mean, I'll not stand that it by that. It has much competition, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't really have much competition. Yeah, well, there's there's almost nothing. It's still good of, yeah, you know, saying like, okay, so is it just flat out bad? Yeah. It's not uh, absolutely not. No. All right. I I had my doubts when they. We'll we'll wrap this up shortly because we have like some other stuff to talk about because um, today it's is Monday. Monday. Today. Yeah. yeah. Today's Monday, October thirtieth, and the first day of Paris Games Week is was today. Um. So I totally we totally forgot about that till this yeah. morning. Yeah. <laughs> um. So we'll be talking about that mostly. But um, real quick about Animal Crossing Mobile, and then I'll let you guys get your piece in about Mario Odyssey too. Mm. Um. I was not feeling it actually when the direct uh, dropped. It was so lame. It was a really lame direct. It, yeah, it was like, <laughs> oh, you could do all this, and I was mostly really salty because our friend Victor was like, oh, it's gonna be a city builder game. You're gonna hate it, and I was like, I don't want it to be a city builder game. I don't want to have to like build resources and or collect resources and build buildings to level up my characters and my friendship levels and my villagers or whatever, and then. The direct happened. I was like, "No, fuck this! I hate it. It's bad." Um, literally, I was on Discord with Dave, and he was like, "Oh my god, I'm trying to hear it!" <laughs> like I was just complaining. Um, and then I downloaded it, and it was appearances were deceiving. And now you're at level the, 29. At the very least, yeah. Um, they did a really good job of taking Animal Crossing, which is generic, or well, not generically, gen- generally. Like, you have one home console that you don't really take with you, so you have a house um, that you can decorate. And, like, when you come home, you have, like, your home base, essentially, Mm. that's yours. Um, And I think they did a really good job picking campers instead of houses for that because it feels like you're always on the go. Like, you're never really in one place with Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. And it was was so cute. a couple of complaints, not complaints, but like gripes. Uh, I wish they had more furniture selection. Um, You're and not the only person I've heard say that. I've heard really? So many people say that. Really? Because there's like 300, 299 furniture pieces available uh, in right off the bat. I can think of at least three people on Twitter that I follow who are very vocal about wanting. No, more yeah, furniture. I want. I wanted some of the like more fancy series to come in, mm-hmm. and I don't know if they're gonna unveil them as release happens um i would hope so because they are going to have like seasonal events and things like that um but and i also want uh resources to uh i want villagers to give you resources in higher quantities because otherwise um nothing gets done (laughs) like i you're supposed to build furniture and things to put in your campsite 
but I just build what is necessary, mm -hmm. and then I'm like, damn, that's cute, and I'll put it in my camper. <laughs> um, if you do want to look at pictures of my camper, I've actually just updated it today, but my Twitter is uh, K-N-U-R-T-T, uh, twitter.com slash nert. Um, they're there, and I'll post the updated ones. They're already up if you're listening to this podcast, but I'll post them tonight. Um, quick plug, but I like, uh, it's so good. It's so good. And I, I honestly don't mind the wait times for building things. Mm. It's only when um, it's like, oh, you can invite this villager, but the build time for like one thing is 24 hours. And I'm like, I can do what? <laughs> I can't invite this villager. Um, because they do have requirements before they can come to your campsite. I'll probably go, I'll probably write an in-depth article about it. Do it. Um, I'll do it when it's out. <laughs> Um, I definitely yeah. wish there were some more slots to make to them. Build like, I know you can buy them. Yeah. <coughs> but like I, one I slot. I bought the like, first two. Or yeah. the two. Yeah, but like one slot, like say if you're building a thing that takes like eight hours or something. Yeah, then it's you're like, And up. then you can't really do much for the whole day. Mm -hmm. So I definitely wish there were more slots yeah. for that stuff, even though you can get them. Um, I'm always lacking cotton. Yeah. And things that need paper need a lot of paper to build. Yeah. I'm definitely not like... Like, I'll build something, and then I'll forget about it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I could have built something else. So I'm, I'm not, like, hurting for resources. Because mm -hmm. I'm not playing it, like, at, like, a rapid rate. I'm just kind of like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll get this thing out of the way. Yeah. And then, like, I'll forget about it. Yeah. I liked playing it at a really rapid rate the mm -hmm. first, like, few days it was out. Yeah. Uh, in Australia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> an Australian-based um, podcast. Yeah, thank you, Australia. Yeah. Um, but I think now that I've, like done so much i'm gonna dial it back so that i can actually enjoy it when yeah. they start adding things mm -hmm. um yeah yeah cool yeah. yeah i did the same thing i played like so much of it on the first day yeah and then i'm just kind of like like i'm still enjoying it but i think the just the running errands is a means to leveling up is getting like a little stale with me already yep like i, I kind of wish you know they had like your animal crossing like main features like i wish they had the museum for instance mm -hmm. stuff like that like things to collect for a reason for collecting other than just selling them yeah like that'd be a nice even like a way to keep track of them or something you know yeah there there is a catalog mm -hmm. but yeah i think there there was so much more variety in a there obviously there's going to be so much more variety in a full animal crossing game yeah totally but it feels like a nice filler yeah, it, until it, animal crossing switch yeah it's like, definitely finally releases it's definitely a neat little thing yeah well yeah. you like the switch <laughs> yeah <laughs> Like, no, no shit. Yeah. yeah. I'll yeah. like the Switch then because yeah. it has Animal Crossing on it. Yeah. Like, I bought the 3DS for as an Animal Crossing console, and the Switch is no different. I feel it. God, how long has it been since New Leaf? New Leaf Five probably, years. Yeah, they're like due 2012. for... They're due for a new one. Yeah. Like a new full-blown yeah. yeah. Animal Crossing. Um, I'm estimating... This is, like, a complete shot in the dark, but I think early 2019 mm -hmm. for Animal Crossing Switch because it's a, it's a mid cycle thing yeah definitely i can i can feel that <sighs> which yeah. animal crossing pocket camp better be killer up until then yeah. <laughs> i'm fucking eyeing you nintendo i'm interested to see what they do though because it's definitely uh, a franchise that they've been toying with a lot for the past few years and they've been trying like totally different things mm. so it'll be interesting to see yeah i think the new leaf uh formula was the best yeah it was like i think happy home designer and welcome amiibo updates yeah well not happy home designer wasn't like an update but happy mm. home designer put in a lot of interior stuff that mm. we needed and wanted it was a lot of like quality of life stuff mm -hmm. that um and like new furniture obviously um that was nice and then some of that we got in the welcome amiibo update um the thing i liked most was you're now able to choose where your villagers live more or less in your town yeah. um that's absolutely great so yeah i'm probably still gonna be playing new leaf for a long while yeah right up until animal crossing switch comes out <laughs> right until newer leaf right until the best leaf <laughs> fresh leaf fresh leaf um but yeah how's super mario odyssey it's really great i yeah. i actually played a little bit of it <laughs> yeah and i thought it was a little fun yeah yeah, I was like, <laughs> yeah um i i was playing <clears throat> cappy I, I played two player oh, you're doing the two player thing yeah, yeah. Hmm. I did that for like a few seconds on the stream on Saturday, and yeah, didn't, you didn't like it for no. I, I didn't like. It. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. I, I liked it a lot. Yeah, I I did a good amount of fucking around, but I like yeah. I genuinely wanted to help. Yeah, and I think 
<laughs> when you get a duo like that, it like yeah. works. Yeah. Um, well, the one thing that's hard to line up is the hat jumps when yeah. you throw the hat and you it's jump really on hard. it. Yeah, it's yeah. really hard to line up because you don't know where the fucking person is going to jump. We did it once by accident yeah. and we freaked out. Yeah. It was good. Like, you know where they should jump, but you don't know if they'll actually jump there, you yes. know? Yes, yeah. In your mind, that's where you, like, you'll line it up there, and then they'll just like, oh, no, I want to go over here. It's like, ah, oh, fuck, well. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, thoughts? But, yeah, um, I really, really dig how this game will just throw themes out, and then, like, it'll be something totally fucking different yeah. in the mm-hmm. next ten minutes. Mm-hmm. Like, like, this game tries so many different things, and f- for the most part, they work. Yeah. But um, I just really dig how they, like, switch up everything, like, so quickly. Mm-hmm. Like, each world has a new, like, pretty fun mechanic and a completely different theme. Like, I don't know how far you guys have gotten, but there's one world in particular that I'm thinking of, and I really want you guys to get to it. I'm at, um, I just beat Food Kingdom. I'm okay. About to, I'm about to hit Bowser's Kingdom. You're, 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 get, you're getting there. I, I am in Bowser's Kingdom. Okay. <coughs> okay. So, wait. I, I actually don't remember if you've done it or not. But either way. What? Um... There's one particular world that's really, really unique. And it's just so fucking out there. And it's a lot of fun. I can, I can think of a handful of yeah. worlds I really like in Mario Odyssey. Um, it's it's kind of cool for me playing Mario Odyssey because uh, I've, I've actually never played a main series Mario game. Yeah, this my, one. my only main series Mario game was Mario Galaxy. Oh, yeah, sorry. There's a bit of Mario spoilers here. Oh, yeah, well... Um, uh, <coughs> I'm not going to go into specifics or anything, so yeah. you'll be yeah. fine. Yeah, we're not uh, we're not going to flat out tell you the no, no, no. roster. Yeah, you'll be good. Um, but is the fact that Bowser is a boss a spoiler? No, no, no. Oh, it's a Mario. <laughs> game. You no, know, it's a Mario. Okay. Game. Of course, you're going to fight. That's Bowser. like saying Batman fights the Joker. Yeah, right. like no, because like you fight Ganondorf in the Legend of Zelda guy. <laughs> no, you don't. Shut up. Because uh, like I I saw people getting real upset that people were like, oh, I'm in Bowser's kingdom, yeah. like on Twitter. Yeah. I was like, like, of course you're gonna fight Bowser. What the hell? Excuse me. Yeah. So like, uh, normally, normally I hate, I hate being spoiled for things. Yeah. But mm-hmm. like, I feel like you fight Bowser is within the realm of it's not within a the realm of no, we're releasing no. a Mario. Game. Like, yeah, it's, it's actually just not a spoiler. Again, yeah. it's like saying you fight Ganondorf in the Legend of Zelda. The sun comes yeah. out. The yeah. sun <laughs> comes out. Yeah, it's like if you know anything about the franchise you know that's gonna happen yeah, yeah. it's it's yeah S- saying that mario fights bowser is not mario fights and... bowser and rescues oh. peach guys amy yeah. i don't know when you did this but thank you for the host i just noticed oh thank you so much. oh thank you uh they can put our stream on their channel on twitch for oh, their followers awesome. to watch oh, thank you so much. that's really cool yeah. Yeah. Luigi, is <laughs> luigi is the final boss hell yeah he is <laughs> um a true end waluigi oh, i love it i'd be down for that yeah, i love it Finally, you can decide which brother is better. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, it's Luigi. Yeah. Simple as that. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi is the better brother. Um. But yeah. It's what, real good. What else does Super Mario Odyssey avoiding spoilers? Uh, what else does Super Mario Odyssey do well that you haven't seen in other Mario games? Oh God. Uh, See, it, it's well, weird uh, because he's it's, not on a go kart for one. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a good. It's, it's, good one. it's weird. <laughs> yeah. Because like. This is kind of just like from my experience, and I'm assuming I'm almost end game considering mm-hmm. I'm hopefully about to fight Bowser. Yeah. Um, it's just kind of another good Mario game. Yeah, no, totally. They don't like they, it, yeah. It's nothing like super impressive. It's mm. just Mario living up to the standard of quality Mario has created for himself. Yeah. Okay. They don't necessarily do anything new. Yeah. But they just keep like you know. It's just like, consistent. It's just consistent. Yeah. It's, it's just like it's m- good platforming. Yeah. yeah. Lovable then, areas. The enemies are so cute. And yeah. In like, this case, everything in this game is adorable. Yeah. And in this case, there's nothing wrong with consistency. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean it's. You know, it's like. It'd be like saying, you know, is a consistently good game versus like, a spotty. Bad series. Uh, spotty bad series. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, um, it's main series Mario, yeah. and I'm told that they're all great. Yeah. As like, most, most main series Mario games are pretty fantastic. Like, like every 3D <laughs> Mario game is, like, fucking perfect. Like, 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 this one, too, but it's not, like, like that's just Mario's level of quality. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mario has always been, like, a fucking incredible franchise. Yeah. And, like, all of them just keep within I, that. I wish, I'd ha- I wish I'd played one sooner. Yeah. <laughs> um, as someone who is flirting with the idea of maybe picking up Super Mario Odyssey or borrowing it from a friend. Mm-hmm. What do you think I should know? 
uh, about the changes this game, well, not the changes per se, but like the way this game is done versus other Mario games. He's not on a go kart. Yeah, he is. He is okay. He's absolutely. <laughs> Good not start. On a Good start. Um, every like you could have watched any single trailer for Mario Odyssey, and you know almost every single thing about this game. Yeah. Okay. Um, keep that in mind. Yep. This game does not actually throw many surprises in your direction. Yeah. Okay. Like outside of like you going into a single area and like finding unique things. Mm-hmm. Like I think there are fourteen worlds in the game, and like is that including the secret areas? Yeah. Maybe fifteen with like the last one, and I like three of them haven't been in a trailer. Okay. Three or four of them haven't been in a trailer. Okay. So I think you, it was three. I vaguely remember hearing a couple people say three. Yeah, like you definitely. But they've shown off like what they've got. They, they've shown much. off what they got. Like they they just they showed their whole hand yeah. okay. with this game, and for better or worse, that's what they did. <laughs> like, Show your I whole think, hand. Uh, yeah. Tap three mana and gain three times the amount of white cards you reveal in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, I, I tend to think of it it's, it's a little for worse because oh, okay. I, I like when you like when there are surprises. Yeah, I like yeah. when there are surprises, and yeah. this one it's like, oh, it's this world. Yeah, I saw this world. Oh, it's this yeah. world. Yeah, okay. I saw this world. And then the one okay. surprise in the game, I'm like, oh, this is so fucking cool. Mm. So, so if I wasn't inter- like really interested in what I saw in the trailers, yeah, would you yeah. still recommend it? I feel like the trailers. Uh, if are I, pretty- if like, so my background is that like I could give couldn't give less of a fuck about mario games honestly yeah, yeah. um they're like they've always been platformers for the most part yeah. which is yeah. not my thing yeah um series just not that interesting yeah um and i've already and like i don't care for the trailers yeah if what you, what would you say uh i should do about mario i mean Odyssey? i'd say if you don't care about mario then don't play the new mario game yeah. okay. <laughs> like trailers, um like, but it's, yeah. it's not would, gonna would it's, this game like at least sway me a little bit to Maybe playing the next one when it comes. New out. Donk City might. <laughs> yeah, New rest, Donk City might. Like yeah. New Donk City is New like. Donk City. It's like even even if you don't shit. play platformers, like, like New Donk City is just fucking incredible. Okay. It's like not even like platforming. It's, right. yeah. it's just like it's just it's really just cool fun. exploration. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what it is. But yeah, okay. the trailers I think like, are pretty indicative. Um, of yeah, absolutely. Whether yeah. or not you'll like it, mm-hmm. it's yeah. it's very much one of those games that you can probably just glance at and immediately know whether or not you're interested. Okay. Or not. It's like, and if you're really that on the fence, then yeah, try New Donk uh, City. Yeah. Sure. It's the best thing in this game yeah. I've experienced. Easily. I would so say long. like if like if it's generally not your thing and you're still like ki- if you still kind of want to play it, I'd say yeah, just like borrow it from someone. Mm. Yeah. Play yeah, it for wasn't, a couple I wasn't hours, gonna like go it. out and like buy a Switch and buy Mario yeah. Odyssey. Yeah, yeah this no. isn't yeah. something this that's because like, I am totally not some sort of fucking mind. Saudi yeah. heiress. Yeah, yeah. no, <laughs> it's not gonna. It's not like a Mario game to change Mario games. No, but it's. It's just it's definitely an incredible game. one. It's it's, yeah. it's a very good game. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I think for that reason, it's not going to be in yeah. the list of games I've played extensively for Game of the Year. Yeah. I will try and get some hours in it because yeah. I want to uh, have a good basis for arguing yeah. my points. Yeah. Um. But you know, yeah. I just eh. yeah. Like you might you might enjoy it more than like other Mario games because yeah. it's it's a lot more focused on exploration than platforming. Yeah, but like, okay. it's See, still a now. Now, game. whenever someone says that, or it's like, whenever someone says a game is more focused on uh, exploration and pretty much doing whatever you want, mm-hmm. rather than uh, like, say, puzzles or um, platforming mm-hmm. or something that has recently been what the series is about. I'm specifically talking about Breath of the Wild. Yeah. I, I got that. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna <laughs> name drop that one. Yeah. I'm extremely wary. It's it's yeah. like. Um, because I yeah. no, I, I was that. really excited for Breath of the Wild, yeah. um, but I it just didn't vibe with me. Yeah. So yeah. like so Mario with Odyssey. with Mario Odyssey, it's more like like it, it it's like based around exploration and that kind of stuff. But you you do have an ultimate goal in each area to yeah. like find the, okay. the moons and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So it's like it 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 is like. Focusing on exploration, but the exploration is to achieve an ultimate goal. Okay, yeah, and even so then, like you're yeah. doing it for a reason. Yeah. And What's e- up, Kennedy? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I That's okay. You were gonna finish. Uh, the exploration even then isn't like super in depth. Kind mm, of like no. they were trying to make it in Breath of the Wild. Like if you want to like just go in one direction and just see how far you can go in that direction. You know, Breath of the Wild, you can keep going for a long time. Spend but a Mario whole day Odyssey. Doing that. <laughs> 
there are borders yeah. to yeah. the That's world in question, and they're very clearly yeah. defined borders, and they're yeah. not like yeah. super far away and unreachable. You can probably it's more like have a, them within eye shot. Yeah. It's more like a playground with a lot of stuff to find in it. Okay. Yeah. It's a playground it's, with a really big That's jungle. what I liked about the Yakuza games, so maybe. Yeah. yeah. I think Mario Odyssey is on a bit bigger scale because Yakuza was like two neighborhoods at most. Yeah, yeah no, it was literally so. two little pieces of two cities. Yeah. yeah. Plus like two other small places. Yeah. Dojima headquarters and Oh yeah. yeah. How long were you in there though? <laughs> <laughs> a long ass time considering how long those ambushes lasted. Oh my god. Anyway. Yeah. Um De definitely way more linear exploration than Zelda. Yeah. Like Zelda just yeah. has like yeah. Zelda just like, kind of puts you in a spot and is yeah. just like, go. It literally yeah. has a quest that just says kill Ganon. <laughs> 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 and that's like, 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 it's just like, there's a, there's a main quest that just says defeat Ganon. Yeah. Over, and I'm like, okay. That scared me. Yeah. It's, 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 it's it, definitely like, overwhelming, but. Yeah. Cause I, yeah. I'm not dumb. Yeah. <laughs> But I don't like to be overwhelmed by yeah. video games. No, yeah, it, it's yeah, it's a really overwhelming thing. To where it's like <laughs> you finish the tutorial, kill Ganondorf. It's like, <laughs> well, okay, especially then. when like right, you walk there. ten feet and a buckoblin does like four hearts of health yeah, damage. Yeah. No, yeah, like it, it, it just felt is. super unforgiving to me. Yeah. Um, it's not. It's not handholdy at all. Yeah, um, I really like I how like within a few weeks of being out, there were already like <laughs> playthroughs on YouTube of people doing exactly that, like just yeah. starting up the game, yeah. getting like the most basic ass weapon they could yeah. get. They picked up a <laughs> stick. <laughs> yeah, they picked up and a stick. fucking marching. And then yeah. they just ran toward yeah. Ganondorf. Yeah. And you know, some people actually did it. Some people actually um, got the magic formula yeah. and beat Ganondorf just like that. And I give yeah. so much kudos. To I fucking tried <laughs> that, and it's really weird because so there are four different bosses you have to kill not have to there are four different bosses that you will, should they will assist you yeah. in your ganondorf fight if you if you if you fight them um so how it works if you just go straight to hyrule castle and say fuck fucking fight me ganondorf <laughs> you'll be like oh you know i don't have clothes so yet rested but, in so rested. yeah like if you do that he'll, they'll be like okay and you have to fight those four bosses before you fight ganondorf that's fucked up so like right. you can't avoid those fights regardless of what you do it's just Ganondorf's gonna be a little fucking harder when you have to fight four other big dudes in front of him yeah. <laughs> with three hearts. Um, <laughs> fucked up. So, yeah. final thoughts on Mario Odyssey before we talk about Paris Games Week. Uh, it's good. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Well, <laughs> very good. I, I, I've, <laughs> this turned into a sales yeah. pitch. I have really enjoyed it. I, I finished it. And I'm going uh, to I'm, I'm really into it. It's turned into a sales pitch. I have yeah. really enjoyed it. I, I finished it's it. Like, it's and really I'm good. Good. I like I am like, like a handful of worlds. I might 100%, but yeah. there are a few which I won't name, but I think you guys know exactly which yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking of words like, like I'm, I, I ain't touching that shit with a 10 foot I like. I'm done with them. I'm maybe like a tenth through each list on each world. And I'm just like, this is. I'm already at like almost. It's about 170 moons. Okay. Like, it's obscene. Yeah. Isn't there, like, 800? There's 500. 500 500 excluding, like, the achievement ones. Yeah. But the necessary so, ones. Yeah, like, like the ones in each world, there's 500. And I'm at, like, 400 and something. Damn. I don't know if I'll finish that. Because, like, like, the worlds I have remaining just aren't fun. You better get, like, a fucking super moon if you get all those. <laughs> you get a picture. You get, I hope you get to summon moon moon. <laughs> moon moon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, but it might actually be more than five hundred because now that I think of it, the Odyssey is saying, "Oh, you have a hundred or ninety something." Or I guess yeah, like ninety something more moons left. I don't know if it's like to something else, or if that's like it. So it might actually, it might actually be eight hundred. I'm not entirely sure. Um, now that well, I think of it, I should look this so, up. Lots to do. Yeah, lots to do. Um, so how about that Paris Games? How week? about that Paris Games week? We we posed uh, a poll in our like life cast chat that has all of us in it. And of the Exclusive. people that answered, um, I think we should just talk about like all of it. Uh, like all of it wasn't at least like relevant? the top three. Um, we'll do the top five because I could yeah. say like a couple things about the last two, and it's not yeah. gonna only take up a lot one of time. Game on this list, I know jack shit. About. Uh, so the first one, which uh, the most people wanted to talk about, was Monster Hunter World and Horizon Zero Dawn DLC. So I'm into it. Dan is let me tell you about how Monster Hunter World is going to be the best game of 2018. Um, <laughs> let me tell you about how I really want to have the little robot as my companion as Aloy. Because I, I have played Z Horizon Zero Dawn, and I liked it a lot. Uh, 
it went some places that I didn't like, but I you know overall it was a it was an enjoyable game. Yeah. Uh, Dan really likes Monster Hunter. I love Monster Hunter. I've never played a Monster Hunter game in my life. So. This is this, this will probably end up being the best one to play. Like yeah, with, that's what I was thinking. With with each Monster Hunter game, they've just gotten more and more accessible, and I don't think that's going to stop anytime soon. Yep. Because they've gotten really good at streamlining their shit. Mm-hmm. So I definitely think just Monster Hunter World is probably going to be yeah. the one to pick up if you want to get into the series. If yeah. I can share an outside thought from Dave. Yes. Uh, he says that, according to his opinion... Uh, <laughs> citing, his opinion. citing citing Dave's opinion. Um, <laughs> sorry. Can you put um, that in APA format, please? Yeah. yeah. Cannot be accepted. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, we use MLA format in the English department, actually. The fuck uses APA? Yeah. Uh, the psychology industry. We used it in mine. Big Pharma. <laughs> <laughs> we, used, um, we used it in a ADPR. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But um. But we, can we all Dave, like Chicago's ass? Yeah, Chicago's Dave terrible. Dave has been saying that Monster Hunter has been on the cusp of being a mainline game series. It is for yeah. a long yeah. time, like Ever for the last. It's, it's been on the cusp. Yeah. yeah, like it's it's gotten a lot of popularity with each game yep. since three. And, and this is going to be the one to push it into like mainstream. This is absolutely going to be the one to push it. Yeah. yeah, I'm really surprised that it's on PS4 though. I think everybody yeah. is. Yeah, up till now it's made its. Or like it, it, it found its it found its home on uh, the 3ds. Yeah, but like it, it found its home on Sony systems before. Like yeah, it, no, it has. Monster Hunter One was on PS2, and but following Monster Hunter games were on PSP. But Monster Hunter One was also ass. Yeah, Monster Hunter One is terrible. But like um, as of late, since Monster Hunter, th- not even Three Ultimate, just Three in general, like it started on the Wii. Yeah, and they just shipped it over to 3ds. So I'm genuinely surprised it's not like a Switch game. Mm. Yeah, no, honestly, like a Switch exclusive because yeah. it is releasing on Switch, correct? No, no, it's not at all. Yeah, it's PS4. It's I thought not, I thought it's, that it was okay. getting PS4 the special edition. I mean, Switch. it might. Mm. Have been no, that's Monster played. Hunter uh, Generations Ultimate, I guess. Monster Hunter Double Cross is on Switch, you know that okay. which is an enhanced port of Monster Hunter Cross on the 3DS. Okay, you know okay. that actually transitions well into what I was going to say. So, like, I, I I quite like Monster Hunter. I don't like super love it, yeah. but I really enjoy a good Monster Hunter game and. Uh, so Monster Hunter is one of those series where, uh, you know, they kind of, they approach sequels in that if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of way. Mm-hmm. Like, they do they do make changes in each sequel. It's yeah. just that they're usually very minute. And mm-hmm. for me, you know, I, I usually, when it comes to games like that, I usually want to wait for, like, every other or every third mm. release before I want to pick up a new one. Mm-hmm. Uh, the last one I bought was Monster Four Hunter 4. Four, yeah, and that you was, bought four ultimate. And what year was that? My sophomore year. 2014, 15? 20, 2015, I think. 2015? Yeah. And, you know, I was just kind of thinking, yeah, you know, 2018, 19, that's probably the next time I'll buy a Monster Hunter game because by then it'll be changed <laughs> enough to feel like a totally different game. But Monster Hunter World... Oh my god, this looking looks looking fucking incredible. This looks like the kind of sequel that I like. A Pre- sequel with like really substantial changes where it still has the same like spirit of a Monster Hunter game but with enough substantial the, changes the, to They're feel literally taking different. the core of the game and just taking all the complaints everyone had and just fixing them. And I huh. like that. And like this <laughs> is like I've honestly never been more excited for a Monster Hunter game, and that says a lot because I once got a Monster Hunter game signed by Pro Jared, and that was pretty exciting. All right, it's so good. It's gonna be so good. I'm super hype. Yeah, like I, I, never I, th- I think I'm definitely gonna pick it up for Monster PS4 Hunter. because yeah. I really want I'm, that skin. Yeah, I'm picking it up for most. Like everyone is picking it up for PS4. Yeah, you have a choice. I mean, you can do PS4 or PC. Yeah, yeah. but there's no cross system play. That sucks. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, and, and I, plus, I think if you're the, on PS4, the, you could play with like other people and shit. Right. So yeah. Yeah, they're um, getting rid of loading screens between areas. Now it's just one cohesive map. Oh, you're, you're, they're showing you your damage output on your weapons. Whoa. Which, yeah. <laughs> this seems like a lot of quality of life stuff that they should have had. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's the point. Okay. They still haven't added health bars to monsters. But they're making it more visible when yeah, they... Yeah, they're making your, like, numbers go up. When you deal damage up. to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They look more visibly yeah. injured. It's also, like, a design choice. Yeah, right? that's a design yeah. choice. Yeah. Like, I... I still all aboard the thought train of make the health bar maybe optional or maybe yeah. make it so that like maybe you need like a special piece of equipment or armor yeah. or something that allows you to see the health bar so basically people who don't want to see it can still go without it but lame people like me still have that option available mm-hmm. even if it is like 
just like a really hard to find item or some shit. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. They're changing around like the weapons. Bars. Uh, they're getting rid of hunter arts from generations entirely, but they're adding bits of hunter arts to the weapons, just general move sets, and yeah. they're expanding those weapons move sets to be okay. more than like one or two combos. Yeah. Like it's actually just gonna be like the most optimal monster hunter game. I'm ready. Okay. I'm it's ready. It's gonna be so I wish it were on the good. Switch, but I'm ready. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I guess the next thing would be the Last of Us Two trailer. That was like really fucking weird. Did you watch that trailer? Yeah. That's like I, it's like I kind of regret like going like seeing it from Polygon's perspective. Yeah. Because I read the article. Um, you can do it. <laughs> I, I'm trying to remember like the title, but it was stop using it was stop using violence to sell your games. Yeah. And then I watched the Last of Us Two trailer. It was like. Was it a violent trailer? I, I oh my know. god! Yeah, it, it, was, it, was a, it, was it like made a, me uncomfortable, dude. So like, I never, I didn't play The Last of Us, and I didn't watch the trailer for The Last. of I know jack yeah. shit about The, the Last of yeah. Us. The Last of Us is very violent. Like The Last yes. of Us one is like an, an absurdly violent. And like, game. I'm am o- okay with violence. Yeah, in some different in, in ways video though. Games. Yeah, like, I mean, clearly you like Hotline. I like Miami. Hotline. Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. But this was this was this was kind little, of like unthematic. Like, was it gratuitous? It, it was. It wasn't like it, it, like it was. It was gratuitous. It was gratuitous, but like also. I really wish any it, of you guys had played Higurashi because yeah. it could be like, is it like Higurashi gratuitous no, but or not, is it like like gratuitous for like The Last of Us? Like okay, like when The Last mm-hmm. of Us came on screen, I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Why? What like what are they doing? Yeah. It was basically like. Can we? Should we go into a yeah, little bit of detail? Yeah, well, it's we're trailer. gonna. Uh, there's a, okay. We're gonna talk about some violent stuff. Yeah. So if you don't like that, like skip ahead a few yeah. minutes. It was like. <laughs> Turn down the volume. Mute, yeah. like on Twitch, yeah. just like just, tap just, out for a minute. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's, it's you, well, the thing I that was brought to my attention from specifically the Polygon article was mm-hmm. that it was mostly violence to uh, to women. Okay. Um, and that didn't vibe well with mm-hmm. me, especially when I thought uh, the woman at first that was being dragged mm-hmm. was being dragged by two men. Mm-hmm. Um, uh yeah (laughs) did not sit super well with like the entire events of this past week so mind if i ask a quick question yeah what's up so um so you're at least somewhat aboard the stop selling stop using violence to sell your video games train yeah so what about games like does that still apply for games like let's say doom or let's say what was it i just had another wolfenstein where the violence where the gratuitous violence is more or less well, the point. Uh, I think. Would you say it still applies to those? That's a no difficult. Right uh, yeah, that's it, it, a it, difficult it, thing to answer. I, definitely. Yeah, because different people will have different yeah. thresholds. Yeah. Of, it depends what your game is, right? Again, like, it, it really like, depends. I'm talking about yes. games like yeah. Doom and Wolfenstein, where like the They're, excessiveness yeah, you have to, is yeah. what it's selling. That, that's yeah, why it's fun, really right? Right. Because it's it's excessive, but it's aware of it. Yeah, exactly. Like like with Doom, it's like. It's built around the entire idea of exactly. rip and tear. Exactly. Yes. And that's like, what like I'm killing everyone. The Last of Us is not. Like, last yeah, the Last of Us is very much built on this sense that no matter what you do, there's going to be a moral gray area. Yeah. Okay. And so it, by, by depicting so much violence, I think it overshot that message and overshadowed it entirely okay. to be like... Hey, we're violent too. Remember Wolfenstein punching Nazis? Remember The Last of Us when we like had Trick Ellie kill someone like remember doom where you rip and tear <laughs> it it didn't seem thematically in line with no the last of us. okay granted, that makes more yeah. sense again this is coming from someone who yeah. knows no yeah, 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 yeah. jack shit yeah. about last of us and like i'm i'm fine with yeah. violence yeah yeah but me too. it's it felt much it, it felt out of place for this but like, like granted we don't know what the fuck The Last of Us 2 is. Right. Like, this this game could be entirely that. Yeah. It, seemed, and we it don't also know. seemed like a bait but and switch like, from the last trailer we to- got the Totally. Last of Us 2. Because The Last of Us, the, the previous trailer we got was Ellie yeah. playing the guitar and stuff like that. Weren't there... Is that the, is that the girl? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yes. the girl. Uh, and, um, she's, she's grown up. Um, yeah. She's playing guitar in a room. Um, and I think Joel yeah. uh, comes to, like, get her attention to yeah. do something. Yeah. Um, I, I, like, I can see that they're trying... It seems like they're trying to add... You know, different story beats right now. They're yeah. trying to make us curious about that. But it just, um, that doesn't seem like a thing you have in a trailer introducing new characters and stuff like that. Mm. Like, it just, se- like, it just seemed a little out of place. Yeah, it like, seemed like I those didn't... characters are only there to die or get hurt. <laughs> yeah, kind of. As opposed to, like, just a random NPC. Yeah. Like, you, you introduce these characters, you introduce them with a story, you introduce yeah. them with a lore that we want to find out more about. Yeah. 
only to kill them in a span of five yeah like minutes. like in this you actually just kind of introduce characters to be tortured yeah which, which is a little weird like you can have that in your game that's fine yeah like if that is a point you're trying to make so be it it's just i don't i don't think it's a good way to sell your to, game to, to, to introduce your game yeah like we don't know what the fuck last of us is like yeah. i thought it was a totally new game and i'm like oh this is it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of weird for The Last of Us to be this. Yeah, you so, watched the whole conference, right? Yeah, I, watched I just the watched conference. trailers that I was interested yeah, in. I, like, I, I watched the conference and skipped through the boring parts. So I <laughs> might have skipped through some important things. All right, that's But I nice. watched the entire Last of Us. Yeah, part. what's up? So based on what I'm hearing from you guys, it sounds like you guys thought about that trailer, what I thought about Final Fantasy 15 as a whole, where if that logo weren't there, yeah. there's nothing that no. connects it yeah. with there, the rest yeah. of the series. Absolutely. So would you say it's in that camp? Absolutely. There is absolutely nothing that connected this to The Last of Us besides the clicker at the end that yeah. was shown besides like that. Besides the logo. Yeah. Yeah. Besides, yeah. But I mean, like, there's, like, the that's the enemy. doing this lately? It's, re it's really weird, right? Like, why does everybody want to rebrand? Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm sure this game will be... I mean, hey, we're trying to rebrand, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we're not <laughs> but we're a website. <laughs> like, I'm sure this game will probably be, like, a high-quality product. But it's just, it's, just, it's just a weird way to advertise this game yeah. with nothing... Mm. With none of the similarities from the, with no ties, the you know what? I'll, no have, ties, to, I'll yeah. have to look at it then, because like from from a marketing perspective, a note to the viewers here, like I got my yeah. BSA in advertising. That yeah. just sounds so fucking weird. Yeah, and it was I'm fucking very weird. Very curious yeah. about like why they thought this yeah. might be a good. Maybe yeah. it is yeah, because totally. of Wolfenstein. It would have it would have yeah. been so much better such if it was like a fifteen minute look at the first like bit of the game. It's true, but we don't know how far well, this thing is off, right? Like, yeah. like this could be like five years from now. It could be two years from now. We yeah. don't know how far off it is. So, yeah. and that's I think that's another d conversation that is probably going to be started by this sentence entirely. Yeah. But I don't think we should know about games too early because we get this. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they announced this game what like was it two years ago at this point now? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Like, it's like actually we, insane. Do we have like any no. inkling no. of a release? We, no. no. We, we don't even we know what the know game it's is. in development. This could yeah. be a fucking... Oh, God. Yeah, this could be, be a, a real time game. It could be a real-time strategy game. Like, we're like... I don't know the fuck. Bioshock Infinite War flashbacks. <laughs> yeah. I waited for that game. Like, um, like, obviously, it won't be a yeah. real-time strategy game, but there's nothing telling me it won't be. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Um, so, next thing that caught my attention and that... Um, I put in the poll was Night in the Woods Weird Autumn so okay. I, I totally missed that it what is like, that yeah. I saw that in um, the poll and I was like it's I a, didn't know they're making a sequel it's, it's like not a, a sequel it's a port or something it what is, is it it is a uh, expansion like expansion, expansion. Okay. of Night in the Woods um, that so has like for PC? it is free if you own it on PC oh, hey. and they are releasing it on uh, an unnamed console which I bet it's the Switch but it has it has like new mini games uh, new uh, bylines yeah. with uh, your friends cool um, god I hope like, so lots of new ending. like stuff to do I'll check it out yeah I'll definitely check it out I, I definitely enjoyed that game well, I enjoyed the characters in that game. I didn't really enjoy yeah, the story of that game. I enjoyed the whole package. I thought so, it was charming. Yeah. So, like, I beat Night in the Woods, like, like a week ago. Like, right before I came back. Oh, home. really? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, yeah. so I thought you played it a while ago. Yeah, so okay. it's fresh for me. And immediately my first thought is that the ending was a big-ass stain on an otherwise it sucked, right? fun game. Yeah. So, it's not that it was, like, really bad. It's just yeah. that it was really... Anticlimactic. Yeah. It's like when it ended, it didn't feel like a part to yeah. end it. I was like, what? There's. I think they're fixing we're not that. With talk. This. And I'm yeah. hoping that they, this, that's going to fix. It was like a minute long trailer, so they didn't like give specifics. Yeah. yeah. They but are like, releasing it this year, oh, I believe. Uh, this autumn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, and it's named after actually one of the band songs that I think you can play okay. in band practice. That's cool. Yeah. But yeah, I really hope that this alleviates night in the woods of that problem because honestly if it weren't for that so. ending it would be i think it's still gonna be one of my games more of the year, complete to be completely honest huh? yeah. i really liked it i think night in the woods is still gonna be one of my games of the year i liked it so much i, I wasn't terribly big on it i that's fine i, I think my i think my games of the year are gonna be super like unpopular opinions yeah like no, for sure definitely i've known this <laughs> <laughs> weird time playing night in the woods like the first half i was bored out of my skull but yeah. then in the second half i i don't want to spoil what happens but when the plot thickens shall we say yeah I, you, you probably know what i'm talking I know about, what I'm talking about yeah. once shit started to hit the fan i got much more interested i just regret how long it took to yeah. get yeah. to that yeah. point yeah. but That's it's a valid critique yeah but um 
But once it got going, it was yeah. really good. And if the whole game were as good as that second half up until the last five minutes, <laughs> you know, it yeah. it would also probably be really high up there. At least at least for indie games yeah. of the year, it would. Yeah, fair. Sure. See, really I'm like on like the totally opposite perspective as you were. Like, I think like I would have liked, liked that. You loved the first half. Well, and I, hated the second. I, I, I liked like the like the way more simple stuff about that game. The more like real, like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my life kind of stuff. Mm. And like like I really like those whole themes. And when it this, when the shit did start to hit the fan, I'm like, ah, oh, I liked the more like close knit kind of like yeah. conversations and stuff like that. I, a little I feel, more. I yeah. feel I can see I can see how you'd think yeah. that. Gee, Dan, did you like Night in the Hunts? Haven't played it. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, so, real quickly, let us uh, talk about the Hong Kong Massacre. The Not a historical that? event. <laughs> what the fuck is the Hong Not Kong a historical Massacre? event. It is a top-down shooter, probably dual stick, die and retry. So it's okay. uh, Hotline Miami, but made in Unity. It's not. It's not exactly Hotline Miami. Mm -hmm. um, it seems to have more Hotline mechanics. Hotline Hong Kong. No. It. Um, it's made by a different studio. Uh, I think I forget the name, but they are based out of Sweden, Europe. What's the studio? Um, the what? No, oh, I'm thinking something else. I don't think okay. it's on the list. <laughs> I I don't know what the studio is. Yeah. Um, but it um, the way that it was described was Hotline Miami meets Max Payne. So it has that like noir feel. Um, but it has the die and retry style of Hotline Miami. Mm. I can do um, it. Top down. So I don't know why, but I've been like craving a new Hotline Miami game. Have you uh, considered Hotline Miami 2? <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's bad. Yeah, no, that's, that's, it's like not a good game. <laughs> um, but I think it's going to do some good things. Yeah. Like on the like the thirty second <laughs> clip that we yeah. saw of it, um, I think it has like a slow motion mechanic or things like that. Sure. Um, the effects look super cool. Yeah. It looks super stylized, which is something I liked about the original Hotline Miami. Um, but yeah, it has much the same like plot line. It has something to do with um, the triad, the Chinese mafia. Mm. Um, and you were you were against the you were doing stuff for the Russian mafia in Hotline Miami, so. I think it's going to be good. I think that that type of game is like due for a new entry anyway, mm -hmm. because uh, it's getting to the point where like the speed run that you can do of Hotline Miami and Hotline Miami Two is almost fully optimized. Is so. it really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think recently, within the last few months, um, Snowfats beat his world record. Beat his record. I don't know if it's a world record. But he beat his record of like 19 minutes and 24 seconds. Jesus Christ. And got somewhere in like the 18 minute range. So optimized as fuck. No, but like that was that was a while ago and I might not be remembering it correctly, but uh, he might even have like a 17 minute time at this point. Who knows? Christ. Yeah. So I think this like the speed runs are due for uh, an upgrade for a category like that because they're fun to watch. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can dig it. Speedruns are yeah. great. Speedruns are really good. Mm -hmm. um, and then finally, is something I wanted to talk about yeah. from a uh, Paris Games yeah. conference is uh, Erica. Yeah. It is an FMV is game in the Gregorian year 2017, my friends. I love FMV. Like I, 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 I love when games do FMV. It's charming. And um, I've said that about two games. Yeah. This yeah. This podcast. This doesn't seem like it's going to be a charming thing. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem like it's going to be charming, and yeah, it doesn't no. seem like it's going to be bad. You yeah, know, it seems like it's actually trying to tell a story, which I don't like, like with really FMV. Well I like stupid FMV. I don't like real FMV. I, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> so when I think of FMV, the first thing I think of is like really old like point-and-click adventure yeah. games. Uh, because a lot of those utilized FMV mm -hmm. Very poorly. Uh, yes, well, at yeah. the time, at the time, it was very well, but by yeah. modern standards, it looks god awful. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, so, as someone who has very little FMV knowledge outside of that and Sibel, which I hated. Yeah. What do you think? Like, God, it's, it's, I have, wait, I have wait, basically no. I, I basically I have a very warped opinion on FMV. I, I mean, think I don't think it's weird. You, yeah, like I don't think you can have like a good sense of FMV because yeah. like the video game industry doesn't even know what the fuck to do with FMV. Yeah, it really doesn't. Because like, it hasn't. It's really hard to integrate while yeah. still like like Sabelle, Honestly, like I hate this game, guys. Um, <laughs> I think Sabelle was probably like the closest we're gonna get to like being able to integrate it well because it was a game about. 
uh, a girl playing a game and then what she was doing in real life in tandem with the game and it's bad yeah. don't play it but uh isn't her story also one yeah, of yeah, I was, oh, I was about to bring up her story also, okay. yeah and people like just kidding really love her story just is definitely kidding. that yeah. game is great like, I lied yeah, I know her story is definitely the way to go for FM it's like the only good FMV game ever <laughs> honestly yeah well what yeah. I was gonna say about Savelle is like it you know, so it has that excuse of how it can have those in-game graphics that look totally different while having the FMV. Mm-hmm. And I hate this game, but I will give it points where it's due. You know, that's a mm-hmm. good way to utilize FMV yeah. is having the game and real life mm-hmm. as separate settings. But no, now that you mentioned I totally fucking forgot about her yeah. story. I yeah, lied. I mean, like, literally everyone great. did. Yeah. Um, Honestly, one of the yeah. most interesting narratives in a recent yeah. game. I think my favorite thing to do with FMV... As of late, is probably in a one-two switch. Oh, absolutely! All of those like little F M V tutorials. That's, that's like that shit was great. That's what dumb F M V yeah. is, yeah. and that's why it's so great. Yeah. God, have there been any other decent F M V games to come out in the last decade? Um, there, there's one that I can. It's not decent, but it's really funny. Tell me about what it. The f- oh, you have to give me a second. Contradiction, maybe. It was a it was a point and click game. It was a point and click F M V game. Of course it was. They came out on Steam a couple years ago. I think it was called it was a murder mystery. It was called Contra of course, course right? It's it. Oh yeah, contradiction. Contradiction. It's like it's super fucking over the top. Is it like bad in acting. the vein of like early nineties F M V? Yeah. Like 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 yeah, like yeah. like yeah, like a lot. But it's really dumb. And like it's not good, but it's got it's got some charm to it. In the same way that, like, old yeah. FMV point. Yeah, 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 absolutely. FMV has a time and place in games. Mm. Um, time and place, and it's all her story. And it's all her story, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, here's an opinion. Mm. Here's, a, here's, a, here's a discussion question, if we have time. Do we have time? Uh, yeah. Let's yeah. Actually, that was the last thing I wanted to talk about, so I'm going to do announcements really quick. Okay, but go There for are a couple it. more things that were announced that were fun. Were they? Well, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Take us into well, it. Well, yeah, the few things. Uh, there was a new Spider-Man trailer. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah, that looks hype. Yeah, that, that game that was, was actually looking like yeah, fucking it's, fantastic. It's looking really, really good. Like I actually like this is the first time I've actually been excited for a licensed game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. You know, like outside of like Dragon Ball Fighters. Yeah. yeah. And um, they announced two indie games yep. that I'm really excited for. They announced Guacamole Two. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. Everyone is really happy yeah. about that. And they announced Spelunky Two. Yeah. Spelunky 2? Oh, yeah, Spelunky 2 today. Yeah. I heard yeah, yeah. about Guacamole too. I love the original Guacamole. Yeah. It's like, I heard about Spelunky It's actually just one of my like, favorite games. I was like, wow, I should tell Adam, and yeah. then I saw that you were the one who retweeted it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, my mind. job here is done. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Thank you for telling so me. So, yeah. No, no problem. <laughs> how, do you, how do you think those are going to do? Um, We don't know what Spelunky 2 is yet. So, yeah. it just showed like a little... like. Yeah, you have all, like a family. Yeah, like a family thing. It's like you're you're playing as the kid now. Um, That's cute. Your, your dad Spelunker has died, and you're taking over. Oh, no. You're taking over. Yeah, he died of of old age, presumably. It looks yeah. like he's like he was really old in some of the pictures, and it's like, and now your son's taking the taking the helm. Okay, all right. Uh, seems to, uh, we don't know what it is, but and yeah. Guacamole too. Probably Guacamole too. It looks same. pretty it much looks exactly like it's like just guacamole. like more Guacamole, cool. yeah. which is like a great thing. Yeah, because Guacamole yeah. is a fantastic it's game. So good. If you haven't played Guacamole, please play it. It's it goes on sale for like two dollars yeah, right, every day. Yeah, no, I have like so many other games to play by the by, by the time we do game together, yeah. guys. I mean, Guacamole came out like five yeah. years ago. Yeah. So I have to say, I've been doing. I think I'm doing incredibly well with game of the year pacing stuff. I only have like three more games to play. Same. Like I'm really proud of of myself this year. Yeah. I have like. Four. Yeah. What are With they? Super Mario Odyssey, Wolfenstein, uh, Resident Evil, mm-hmm. Ascent was Sacrifice, Hellblade. For me, I have to finish up Yakuza. I have to play Wolfenstein. Um, I might play... Um, Pillars of the Earth. You want me to play Pillars of the Earth? Maybe. I think you would especially appreciate it since I know you also like point and click. Okay. And also yeah. because it's kind of my indie game. So far. Yeah. Okay. And um, what's the one Greg really liked? Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight. Yeah. I, I, I need to play Hollow Knight. I need to play Hollow Knight. Knight. Before, yeah. before the year. I need to play at least a few hours of it. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. the only. Um, I think the only big game I have left that I really want to play before the year's out is I really want to try Nier Automata. I, th- I I feel like I gave Nier a fair shot, and it wasn't I, like I don't think it's my thing, but um, I don't think I got. To like many of the interesting things, yeah. actually. I walked but away for see. comedic effect. And other than <laughs> that, I mean, like, I'm not gonna count Dot Hack mm-hmm. toward Game of the Year because it, even though there is a fourth volume, it is 
by and large not a new game. Yeah, yeah. And also because if it did count, that'd be cheating because it would win. Uh, <laughs> flat out. Uh, sorry, Persona. But uh, No, other, no need to be sorry to yeah, Persona. Uh, literally no need. But um, <laughs> other than that, I mean, I want to play Ghost of Miami before the year's out, but I also want to buy it on sale because I'm poor. Yeah. 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 So, um, I need to play other Cuphead. That, other than those, I think I've. Oh, yeah. I also want to I, I need to Cuphead. play it. if I can. Yeah. You can play it at my place. I know yeah. I can, and I really it's want fine. to. But yeah, outside yeah. of those, I think I'm set. Yeah. I need to play I, Cuphead. Yeah. I need to play Hollow Knight. Uh, I need to play fucking a lot of shit. I need, need to, to finish Shadows of, of Valentia. Yeah. I really got to finish Cuphead. Like, I'm like really close to finishing it. I need to just get it. Yeah. Like, I still haven't bought it. I've like, oh boy. To buy it for you. I know. <laughs> um, so, yeah. We'll do a couple of announcements. Is there anything else from the thing today? Oh, fucking Pokemon. Yeah. From Ultra, Sony Press Conference. Ultra Sun and Moon. <laughs> oh, fuck. You're right. That's coming out. Uh, yeah, it's coming out in like, <laughs> it's coming out in like two and a half weeks. Uh, I don't want to play that right now, actually. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I. God, I'm going to have to rush the hell out of Dot Heck. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm going to take my sweet ass time and Pokemon can suck it. But. <laughs> Fuck you, Pokemon. <gasps> but. Oh, man. Like, I record. love you, Pokemon, but I kind of don't want to play you right now. It, it, yeah, it, fuck, that, that kind of bummed me out. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll probably be done with Dot Hack by then anyway, because knowing yeah. how I am with Dot Hack, I'm going to get started and then I'm probably just. Not going to get off the PS4 for days yeah. at a time until I've got it. <laughs> Adam's looking at my Google search. <laughs> and it looks really concerned. I'm like a it? little confused, but what, what we'll, I'll, I'll find out in due time. <laughs> it was just a Google search for roll 800 sided die. <laughs> <laughs> Is just, just go on the Wikipedia, Wikipedia page, copy paste every game that's come out this year. <laughs> the one that matches this game of the year. <laughs> Can we do that? <laughs> can we like can we like do that? that like I can't a, find one. A forced edition where we yeah. like try our hardest to yeah. argue. <laughs> can we actually, it, can we do that? Like, but what like if it turns out to be like a really bad fuck? Like if it's Pink Rage Otome. Yeah. And we all have to sit there and talk about it. All right. It's the best thing that um, grace this earth. Couple quick announcements. Our Super Mario Odyssey giveaway ends in two days. Uh, it ends. At 11:59 p.m. EST on November 2nd, uh, we will pick the winner November 3rd, and uh, on November 3rd, our dot hack giveaway will be open for the entire month of November. Um, and then you can tell me about how great it is and how thankful you are to us that we supplied you with such a great ass game. Yeah, the winner for that will be chosen uh, December 1st, and then. On December 1st, we'll be starting our Mystery Game of the Year giveaway. Hell yeah. That'll be open for the entire month also. Um, someone, this is kind of a question, kind of a, we should make this more known. Um, someone had asked us on our website if we have a Discord server. We do. It's linked at the end of every podcast. It is now linked in our social links pop-up uh, when you go on our website. A little link tree? Yeah, it's on our, it's on our link tree. Um, the link tree is golden, guys. Yeah, it's, yeah. If we are on a social media platform, it's, it's on there. that link tree. Um, yeah. And if we're on a social media platform, anywhere you can find us, it's linked under the link tree. Yeah. Our, our profile has the link tree link. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so, it's perfect. So. Uh, it's, <sighs> love that service. Yeah, no, for real. Um, so convenient. Yeah. So if you're looking for us anywhere, that is the first place you should check. Yeah. And if we're not there, tell us, you know, if we get enough requests for a certain site, we might discuss it. Mm -hmm. Uh, we just recently got an Instagram. We're going to be putting that to use soon. Yeah. I meant to take a picture of the recording setup and it's post it, but my phone died. Yo, it's not too late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come watch the last 10 minutes of our podcast. Um, all right, Kennedy has taken a picture of us, I guess. Hell yeah. All right, Kennedy. Okay. Uh, while Kennedy does that, one last announcement. Um, oh, what's up? Do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. I'm not going to give you the password for the Instagram right now. I don't have... Okay. <laughs> Kennedy. <laughs> um, um, How about I just message you the picture? Yeah. Um, and I'll post it tomorrow as, hey, we recorded this episode yesterday. Um, so, last announcement. We are ending our daily giveaways on December 30th. 
uh, December 31st is the day we'll draw the last yeah. giveaway, the last daily giveaway winner. Our Twitter page will be so much nicer. Yeah. <laughs> but we all, I also want to make sure that this is clear. We're stopping the daily giveaways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. switching Regular them over to... giveaways are still... Uh, higher yeah. quality giveaways, but fewer. Yeah. We're going to be doing weekly giveaways, and we're going to be doing our, uh, like, triple A giveaways per month. We're going to have them open for the whole month. Yeah. So there will um, still be giveaways, just not... Just, just not every day. Last games. Yeah. So, um... I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. So you'll only get one tweet announcement what have you per day for each of those yeah literally the cleanest twitter feed you're ever gonna fucking see real great (laughs) (laughs) um and our media won't be clogged by pictures of the game either because one it's gonna be hard to find seven pictures of one game let alone 30 (laughs) and i don't want to do that (laughs) um so you'll just get the link to the gleam have it um yeah now into questions Uh, Our first one, we did um, this last week, and I found a subreddit called, Would You Take the Deal? Um, I'm in. (laughs) This is is the only new interesting one and, like, not super crude one um, that I found from, that was new from last week. Uh, You live through all of human history in an hour. You have a flashback in which you actively live through everything that happened to every person, every... Every slave beating, every genocide, every treasure hiding, every revolution, coronation, etc. (laughs) Everything that every human that isn't alive today has ever experienced from the very first biologically modern human. You experience all of that and then look at the clock to see that only one hour has passed, but all of the knowledge, trauma, and whatever else you gain is there within you, as if you had actually experienced millions of years of human history. You cannot change anything in history. During each life you live through, you forget all of the others, and it all comes flooding back at the end of the hour. Fuck that. (laughs) I mean, it's really cool knowledge to have. Yeah. But, like, I do it. Imagine living with the trauma of every single person ever. Yeah, no, yeah. for real. Like I, I love, I love history. Yeah, and maybe it's because I love history and I know what they did to people back then. <laughs> yeah, that I'm like, all right. On one hand, I would love to be Queen Elizabeth the first. On the other hand, I would not like to be any of the millions of people that Catherine the Great <laughs> burned at the stake because they didn't quite line up with her religion. Yeah, I do it. I want to know what happened to the Library of Alexandria. Yeah. That's true. You, I mean, yeah, that is one benefit. Like yeah. all the all the secrets lost to human history. What happened to the oh, Mayans? Shit. What yeah. happened to plus fucking I, whoever? You know, suddenly you have this bank of knowledge that people would pay money for. But who yeah. would believe if you? They believed you. Yeah. Like you're just one person <laughs> spouting. Oh, this is how the Mayans died. <laughs> the Mayans you know? didn't die. People, people do that already, and they're insane. Yeah. yeah what if they? What you if they? Like, what if they what took, if they the, took the deal? Yeah. Did you guys? Did you guys hear? This is slightly, but slightly not off topic. There was a guy in like Ohio recently who made the news because he claimed to be from 2020, and he just like he would like get in the middle of like big public areas and tell people that like the first alien invasion in recorded human history was upon us in December and that it was his job to try to stop it. Man, I hope And the this only way he could stop it I got was legitimately- making people aware and that's like such a fucking oxymoron because like, yeah, people are aware now because his crazy ass antics have got him all over the news, but but what if that's what he was aiming for? What if he's telling- I got legitimately <laughs> spooked for a minute. <laughs> No. We might I mean, we'll in December. Like two months. Yeah. Oh. No, no, we won't because he's saying his only objective was to get people knowing about it because he said just purely the knowledge <laughs> of people knowing it's going to happen <laughs> will postpone it. Oh, I love we this guy. He covered <laughs> all his pieces. Oh my god, that makes it so good. I got a little, I got a little spooked out because I have been watching a lot of BuzzFeed Unsolved. Unrelated. <laughs> That's fucking great. I <laughs> love this guy. I hope he's telling the truth. We'll never know. <laughs> For as long as people never think know. about aliens, we're good. I'll I will stop thinking about them right now. <laughs> I didn't. You're putting us um, all at risk, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you might possibly be putting everyone in this building. Yeah, fuck yeah, that's risk. cool. I want to see an alien. Oh, look at this fucking edge lord that commented. What? Easy take. I'm already insane, and just having that much knowledge is way too much of a siren song for yeah, me. Yeah, you're insane. <laughs> Try dealing with uh, literally all of the slaves' trauma. <laughs> 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 
try, I tried dealing with that motherfucker. Yeah, you know, I, I respect the quest Fuck. for knowledge. I want to know what happened to the Mayans yeah. as much as the next guy. Um, and if you are willing to put up with that kind of yeah. trauma, you go you. That's okay. This guy's already insane. You know, he's he's you lived through thousands of years <laughs> of being a slave. Much I love more strong person than yeah. I. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no. I'd, I'd take it because I want to know. Like, Dan, no. You? Fuck I that. Not. No, I mean, it, it, it'd like, be great to know that information, but I, I'm not still another, not that mentally another, strong. <laughs> another thing is, I have this really weird fascination with death, mm -hmm. so I think it would be interesting to see how different people died from, like, their perspective. Yeah. It would be cool. I'm not disagreeing cool. with you be there. Like less cool once you hit, like, the Black Plague, but, like... <laughs> yeah, it's so like, like, oh, uh, again? <laughs> <laughs> or, or, like, or, and like, get to, like an occasional, yeah. <laughs> an occasional beheading. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you get to, like, I World War One, and everyone is just dying. On the era. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, um, you enter the French Revolution. <laughs> uh, I would like to be guillotined several thousand times over. Well, the thing ah! is... But what if you felt the pain of it? But you still no, live. No, that's the thing with memories. Is well, that, or like, if you have the memories, I think you don't feel the pain of it. You just know that it happened. Well, there was also this weird uh, fucking study done during the French Revolution, actually, around the time they were still kind of working on the. Around the time they had impeccable scientific methods. Well, <laughs> continue. No, just, just listen. Just listen. Yeah. Because uh, this is something that does get talked about a lot. Because obviously, this isn't something we can easily recreate. Right. Uh, is that uh, someone? went under the guillotine and they were like we're gonna test how long like the brain lives like how long you are conscious after oh, yeah. you are beheaded and uh so they had this guy you know saying like okay you know y'all are gonna chop my head off and i'm going to like try my hardest to blink like and if i blink you know you know that i am at least somewhat conscious on some level and he was able to blink i think two or three times before he stopped what a noble cause <laughs> <laughs> i think pinnacle I of science <laughs> i mean again obviously this isn't something we yeah. create yeah but like there there is reason to believe that for at least a few seconds you might feel a sting that's cra something that's crazy <laughs> a that's sting crazy to think about I mean, I mean, wetness I mean, yeah. your nerve endings, your nerve endings would be totally gone, except for the ones in your neck, which would yeah. be effectively Hurting. cut. Yeah. So, and I, I don't know enough about the nerve endings in your neck to know whether or not you would yeah. feel anything, but like, it's, again, it's not really something we can recreate. No, I mean, yeah. like, even, even if, like, you can't tell what's, like, what, what you're feeling, if you're retaining consciousness even for, like, a second... You're, you're literally feeling your head flying off of your body. Yeah. Like, <laughs> regardless you of the pain of the cut, separated. you are literally seeing your head leaving your you body. You know that second when you, like, crack your neck? No, I and it, and you, say like, I do. almost <laughs> go a little bit too I far? Say I, do. Uh, I, I, I know what you're talking about. Is it like that? <laughs> well, <laughs> exactly like that. Um, so I have an 800 sided die here. <laughs> Yes, you do. <laughs> I have a random number generator. Oh, okay. Which is the same thing. Keep that handy for game of the year. Guy. We're going to do yep. that for a bonus um, episode. That'll be and, fun as hell. And I'm going to roll it, and then we're <clears> going <throat> to pick from a list of 800 questions that I have found on Blogspot. What is oh justice? My God. <laughs> we'll do. We'll we'll try and get through these super quick. Yeah, it's like just fucking hit us. Right. Yeah, we'll do five like, yeah. rapid fire five questions. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, two ninety six. Rapid fire as I find it painstakingly. Uh, two ninety six. Have you ever done something really unbelievable only to have no one around to see it? Yes or no? Probably not. Yeah, probably. I I have. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Kinda. Okay. <laughs> Don't elaborate. It's great. Uh, next one. 386. Uh, have you ever baked your own bread? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I've tried. No. Uh, next one. Shameful, too. I worked at Panera. <laughs> Didn't turn out well. 373. Uh, have you ever played golf? Yes. 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 No. <laughs> <laughs> Rephrase. Have you ever played mini golf? Yes. Really? No. All right. Oh. Never had a desire to. Okay. Uh, we can't all have meth, tiger. No, <laughs> One sixty-four. Right. Uh, Do you prefer blue or black inked pens? Black. Purple. Pencils. I, black. I write in purple pen. Okay. Uh, I think we have 
two more. Two more hit us. So. Uh, 601. I passed it. Uh, what is your one major weakness? <laughs> <laughs> I overthink literally every situation. Anxiety. I yeah. I mean, yeah. I, um, mean, I guess overthinking things is kind of that, right? <laughs> I, I second guess my gut a lot. Yeah. I don't have a driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't either. But okay, like, but but you live in a state with like public ass transit. That's true. Oh, that's true. There's like nothing. There yeah, ass transit. Literally nothing. Where it's ass. Yeah. There's literally yeah. no way for me to get anywhere in yeah. Oklahoma except by the mercy of anybody with a car. I got you. Like I've been straight up denied jobs because I cannot drive by myself. I Even in this, the age of Uber and Lyft. Um, Sucks. And 177, who was the last person to knock or ring your door? I'm pretty sure it was a Jehovah's Witness. Uh, me? Because I have to knock on my door to get into my house. Wasn't oh. it me? Yeah, it was you. <laughs> yeah, it was you. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't push the doorbell hard enough the first time. Yeah, that's okay. All right. Let's do one more just for the shit of it. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Uh, 126. Did we do 126? Did we do 126? I don't think so. No. What would be the odds, though? Uh, <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> one how in 800. <laughs> like, literally, it would be one in 800. Well, shut up, Dan. Uh, how <laughs> often do you buy new clothes? Um, Not very. It depends. Like, if I see a cool flannel, I'll get it. Yeah, like, but, like if there's something like, nice that I like, like, or if, like, I need to replace a couple of things yeah. once every few months, yeah, I'd like, say. Yeah, like, I, I replace things pretty... Yeah, no, like, um, I replace fairly, things, too, but, like, yeah. I could not even begin to remember when the last yeah. time I went out clothes shopping. No, yeah, like, like, like I never... I, I don't think I have Yeah, like, I don't decade. go clothes shopping, but, like, if actually, I see something I like and, like, I can afford it, I'll probably get it. Yeah, exactly. I'm actually planning to do, like, a new, a new clothes shop. Because I want to condense everything down into like a, a good set of basic stuff that I can okay. match. Yeah. yeah, I had new fucking flannels. All my flannels are like getting. I'm getting tired this of them. This one looks cool though. I, this is my favorite one. Yeah, no, I, think, I like, like that one. That's the it's iconic the signature. Yeah, it's the Adam the TM. Adam one. There's like two or three that I still really love, but yeah. like most of them, I'm like I'm tired of you. Like I need some new flannels. Yeah, it's flannel season, motherfuckers. You know, um, I was actually gonna be going to Primark like later this week because oh, uh, my favorite pair of pajama bottoms fucking bit the dust back no. home and now i only have one pair and i don't like just having one no. pair so i guess if that counts yeah yeah i'm getting some new uh, jambles primark is literally where i want to buy all my clothes forever and you know what except if when i have, they have like money. weird trendy stuff that like i because i tried to get a pair of like office pants to wear to work and it was like bell bottoms with no ankle that's fucked up <laughs> motherfucker Rats. who wears those if I had the money, man, I'd go to Primark and I'd buy so many fucking, what are they called? Those fucking thick ass jacket, not jacket fucking things. I fucking love those and I have like one, but I love them. Jacket, not jacket? One Sweaters. Jacket, no. <laughs> no. It's like half a jacket, half like just fucking warm fucking. A zip up hoodie? No, they don't have <laughs> zippers. <laughs> A sweater. No. <laughs> Cardigan! Yeah! These are fucking great. <laughs> Boy. Um, I love cardigans. And I have one, but they're so fucking nice. And y'all ready to get deep again? Because uh, yeah. 759, would you ever sign a prenup agreement? What's a that? What? Yeah, what is it? Uh, is that, I, I hear Kanye West talk like, about that a lot. Is that it's, like it's, the you sign it before thing? you get married yeah, to yeah, like yeah, divide yeah. your assets. Yeah. And like, like um, make sure if that if that when you divorce, or make sure that <laughs> if you divorce, um, <laughs> when you divorce, I'm hey. about to say then why am I getting married? <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to get I the better end of the deal. Taxes, um, so that if you divorce, you'll have all of your assets from before you were married. Because generally, like they get they get conjoined. Um, if it helps me keep my shit, then yes. Yeah. 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 I yeah, probably, but like, I probably wouldn't. I don't know. It's like such a weird thing to ask of somebody, right? It's like yeah. I don't think I trust you enough, so here, sign this thing. Yeah, but like it's, it's generally only done for like second marriages, I think. Yeah, or like celebrity marriages. I wonder how like many second plus. I wonder how many marriages have ended when they when somebody's asked them that question. Like, hey, will you sign this? Like, <laughs> no, you do off. it before you get married. Yeah, no. I wonder how many of like oh, like, like how many engagements marriages. have been yeah. called off. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, well, fuck That's you, really not, not 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 anymore. <laughs> um. But yeah, I I don't think I would. 
because I'm not sure I would either. It's just a weird. It's, it's a like, weird thing. It's, it's setting, definitely something that you should discuss. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's not like something that I myself would bring up. Yeah, but like if I'd bring it up, oh, I'd bring it up to discuss it. Yeah, but it's like it's one I of those things where if the, if it were presented with me, if it were presented to me, I mean, I see no reason why not. Yeah. Yeah. I. Yeah, I see no reason not to. Yeah. yeah. Because like you know, in case things go south. And, you know, not all marriages, you know, end in divorce because of, you know, disagreeing partners. You know, sometimes it is for fucking tax reasons. Yeah. Sometimes it is for fucking... Sometimes there are financial benefits for divorce that are in both parties' favors. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, for all I know, it could be one of those down the road where something happens and both of us benefit greatly from divorcing. Like, Yeah. It could be for a lot of reasons. Yeah. I don't think... Well, this is... A tangent, but I don't think divorce should be as stigmatized as it is. No, it, it's it so fucking be. normal these days. It's so it is. fucking normal. Yeah. I mean, that makes it no less fucking awful for people experiencing it. But yeah. like, I feel like we're definitely way past it the should... point of it where it shouldn't be like this super fucking taboo subject. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. definitely. Half, like again, an average of half of the marriages in this country <clears throat> end in divorce. It's mm-hmm. like yeah. we are way past the point of normalization. Yeah. Like, come on. The woman in the blue should run for presidency. Hell yeah. President Kennedy. I'm back. Kennedy, no! I'm back. Kennedy, no! President Kennedy. No! Mind blowing. <laughs> we need to Get end it. we need to end it's this. A jo- it's a joke. Yep. Because President Kennedy's head got shot. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Really? We didn't know. <laughs> but like if I'm but funny. if we agree to that thing you we'd know. <laughs> The, the, the prenup? No, the fucking ask not, the Reddit ask not thing. What I can You've, do you didn't for go your through country, the JFK assassination phase. But what you as a no, country no, the Reddit thing. Me. The deal? The deal. If we'd gone through the deal with, with the deal, we'd we'd we know. would have known yeah, how mind blowing it was yeah, to be yeah, JFK. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Yo, so like. I think I'm when, in love. When, when oh, you, dude, Trump troller, back off. <laughs> Yo, when you read the woman in the blue should be president, I was so confused, and I was thinking, who the fuck thinks Adam's a girl? <laughs> <laughs> just, it did not register with me at all. I'm dead. <laughs> well, um, I'm dead. But yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Trump troller Kennedy's dating Dan. Yeah. <laughs> a little late on that one. Well, um, all right. I think that's gonna do it for us on episode 86. Uh, I'm gonna make President a prenup Kennedy. joke, but now I forget what it was. <laughs> so I'm just gonna say prenup. <laughs> pre nip right? Uh, insert whatever joke you think is funny in there and pretend I said it because I forget my joke. Um, yeah. If you like this um, uh, and you're watching it on Twitch, you can find us on your podcatcher of choice, iTunes, Google Play, what have you. Yeah. Um, you can find me on your voting ballot. <laughs> 2020. Um, you can find us on pretty much every social media and it will be linked under the podcast and it is linked in chat currently on Twitch. Uh, it's also linked under the video. And... Um, Love you all. Oh, oh. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you for following too, Trump Troller. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll see you next week with a brand new podcast. This will be out uh, Tuesday, October 31st on oh Halloween. Oh my God, hey, Ooh, fucking Halloween. Halloween. I'm definitely going to post all of our Halloween outfits on uh, yeah, social media. Yo, I'm so ready um, for like two people to get mine. But I'm so I'm ready so ready for, for also two people to get mine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mine's oh man, I'm 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 going fucking lazy this year. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Are you gonna be an adult? Yep, I'm gonna be an adult. I'm gonna. Start You're gonna be going, a straight man. I'm gonna, for, yeah, I'm gonna be a straight man. <laughs> um, for context, in the past, he's he's been among the champions. Yeah. Of yeah. Halloween. He was Bob Ross last year, and the year yeah. before that, he had yeah. the best fucking Guy Fieri costume yeah. I've ever fucking seen on Honestly, anybody though, aside good. from oh, thank Guy you. Fieri. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just not. I'm just not. I'm just not feeling it this year. Not you know. It this year. Um, yeah. But yeah, thank you so much for listening. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for inspiring me to run for president. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you for being. Uh, the inspiring wind beneath our wings. <laughs> this has been Lifecast, the Lifecast, episode 86. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Happy Halloween.